Jordan here. What's going on, guys? Something completely new, something completely different. Not a lot of information on this. We're going to do an unboxing, a little look at the drone. Damn, there's a little look at the drone. Right off the bat, I'll go over what's on the front here. That lower eye is a laser. You have a camera above that, which is larger eye. These two smaller eyes, which are left to right, are infrared. This thing is feature packed. It is full of technology. Uh, it's programmable. It's kind of like a EDU learning type thing. The app is ridiculous. So I'll go over all that in a minute. Thing upside down, that is your visual positioning system. This thing also has obstacle avoidance. Again, ridiculous. We're gonna go ahead. Better look at the battery. It is going to be rated capacity 1200 milliamp an hour, 4.5 watt hours, 3.8 volt. Uh, you will charge off that micro if you do not have the charging station. That connector is what's going to connect into the drone and that little little hole right there that'll light up red when you are charging by the yeah, USB. That's what it will look like once you have your battery plugged in. It does seem to stick out a little bit, a tab for you to be able to grab, which is nice. Directly underneath that is your power button. So we're gonna go ahead and get it powered up. Simple press of the power button. And this thing did toggle through colors. I don't know if you were able to see that or if you're able to see that, but the gimbal is now facing directly down. It's now moving to a forward position. We have lights blinking. We are going to need to connect to this through Wi-Fi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the password. Pro tip connecting the drone, you want to open the application first. There will be a guest sign-in. Click on that, then you'll be led to the main screen. Then you want to connect to the Wi-Fi, and then you'll actually be connected to the drone. There's still definitely one or two steps that you have to do after that, which I'll show you very easily. You'll have to click on connect. You can see how to connect it. That's what you want to do after the application is open. And then you want to go back and you want to click directly underneath the device where you see uh, disconnect. It'll say connect. You definitely want to click on that connect. Then you could click on camera. It'll take you into here. It'll give you a little loading screen and then it'll take you to the camera mode. There is constant music playing the entire time that you are uh, flying the drone. I guess it's made for aesthetics. Over on the right hand bumper that I just clicked is all your uh, is all your features the feature and rich stuff this is a little 360 pan around as you can see it's doing it quite well the camera is pretty decent on this obviously there's uh, little to no image stabilization that i'm aware of that i can see this right here is a little bump up and down it's going to go up and down and again it does all this very well the only thing that i did have a little bit of issues with was uh the tracking there has to be an exact way for it to track you obviously with all the cameras on the front of you uh, on the front of the drone, not you, excuse me, on the front of the drone, it should be able to do it very easily. And again, this oh, I also did was not able to get uh, to work. I also am very new to the drone. I'm make, not making excuses for the drone. I'm making excuses for myself. Uh, maybe I didn't know how to operate it properly. I did go through the instruction manual. The instruction manual is very is very light on instructing through the application. I believe there's another QR code that you could scan that'll further break down the way this works. This I was actually pretty impressed by. I stood in one spot, I clicked it, and uh, this thing did do a nice orbit around me. I didn't move any to compensate for it. Again, it did a very nice orbit around me. Obviously, you could see the sun kind of gleaming. You could see the transitions, lights changing. We're actually standing in shadows. You could see sun in front of me. There's also sun behind me. So not really a huge judge on this camera, but from what I see right now, the camera is decent. Uh, it could have definitely used some image stabilization, whether it would have been uh, digital image stabilization, and who knows? Maybe it does have it. This is a screen recording, and maybe once you click the record button over on the left-hand side where you see the camera and you can see the record thing, it, maybe if you hit that, maybe it does it automatically. I don't know, and as you can see, I have my hands up just to show you. I wasn't touching anything during that whole time. Then we'll go ahead and try one another one of these features here, which it'll definitely do very well. This is a uh, lateral orbit. Instead of orbiting around me like it just did, it's going to go up and then rotate down kind of in a hamster wheel, I guess you would say. And again, it did this very well. Another thing I had an issue with, and this thing's fully upgradable, uh, full, fully uh, updatable. I guess you should say there's lots of ports on the side of it. And again, applications, they can be updated all the time. We've seen other drones upgrade cameras and upgrade other things. Um, but 
recording. I tried recording, which I believe I'll try right now. Uh, upper, uh, mid left, you see me switch over. We are recording. You can see the little red there. Um, even the stop recording failed to stop recording. Low battery pilot will auto, auto land, which is cool. Has an auto land feature so you don't drain or kill the battery. Uh, but unable to stop the recording. We're messing around with it a little bit. Could not figure out how to get the tracking uh, to start and stop and actually visually track me. Again, this is tech pack enriched and uh, I'm gonna need to do a little bit of learning with this, obviously. There's also different modes inside the application like a game mode, a fighting mode. That's the reason we have a laser directly underneath our camera um, and the infrared joints on the top of the camera. But we're definitely gonna have to dive into this a little bit more. I will do a little bit of learning on this. I'll try to uh, figure out how to get all the modes to work properly. Uh, starting and stopping video, I had a little bit of trouble with as well. And again, maybe it's me, I don't think so. I think you should be able to just start and stop it. Um, but maybe there's an update for it because uh, we've had a lot of drones that uh, had little bugs in them when they first came out and then you just updated. This is completely updatable. As you can see, we have, uh, we have plugins right there. It's a little expansion areas right there to upgrade this thing fully upgradable fully programmable first look at this thing guys if you haven't subscribed smash the subscribe button questions comments concerns put it down below like